Hello, welcome to another video by Indicator Vault. My name is Ronald. In this video, we're going to go over uh, just a trade breakdown of the US dollar and Canadian dollar pair. We're going to start here on the daily chart. And I've got these three indicators on the chart right now Candlestick Pattern Pro, Divergence Dashboard, and the Order Block Gen. So, going to highlight first here on the daily chart we see divergence play out that's what this red line here is indicating as i hide the order block and then the candlestick pattern pro it's picking up this bearish divergence on the daily so when we see that we are going to have a strong inclination that this high is going to hold and what we like to see many times is for one an order block to form inside of where the divergence is forming of course as i put that on we can see that taking place right here now this is quite a large order block and we're going to see as we go into the lower time frames um, i've got this yellow line here this is going to indicate a four hour order block, which we're going to go into in a little bit. Uh, but we want to refine our entries and our zones even more. And then, of course, the Candlestick Pattern Pro, as I turn that on, you can see here we have a bearish Harami pattern form inside of the order block, which is also right where the divergence is forming. So especially on the higher time frame like the daily these three confirmations alone can give us great confidence that this high is going to hold this isn't necessarily going to give us a precise entry or tell us just to immediately go short you know we want to wait for a retracement and as i play this out here we're going to see how it has a strong down move after it comes back up into here. But with these three confirmations lining up, this is, you know, gives us great confidence to believe that this high is going to hold. And so we want to look for more refined entries and to get into a trade expecting a strong push down, which of course we see here. Now, one thing I do want to point out and add to the chart before I go into the four hour is I hide these for a second when we see long wicks like this especially for Harami or maybe morning star or evening star candles doji candles and it's a very long wick I like to mark out where the halfway point of that wick is because that many times is going to be a very sensitive price level. So I've got that marked out here. With this yellow line. And as we go into the four hour. You see the sensitivity here. Now let me bring up the order block gen. You can see. Yellow line here is at the bottom of this four hour bearish order block. Now, as I turn on the Candlestick Pattern Pro, we then have an inside down pattern forming with the order block inside of it. So, extremely similar to what we just saw on the daily of a you know bearish candlestick pattern forming where a bearish order block is forming as well. So we now have even, you know, an extra time frame confirmation to believe that this high will hold. We have it on the daily as the divergence is playing out from here to here. It doesn't pick it up on the four hour. But remember, on the daily, this was the bearish divergence with the uh, bearish candlestick pattern, the Harami and the order block. So extra confirmation even more on the lower time frame the four hour that this high will hold so if you wanted to you know i prefer to go into the lower time frames which we will but even just an entry here on the bottom of this order block 
as it's you know a little bit more refined. If you remember the daily order block, its bottom was somewhere around here, so way too large of a zone to enter in on. And this is still a little bit larger than I would personally care to. However, with these confirmations, believing that this high will not get violated, you could enter here, you know, with your first take parcels, breaking this low, which we see it easily does. And then there's these other lows that it takes as well. Now, if you did not want to do that, and of course, we're going to go into the lower time frames again, but this confirmation right here, we have price going into our four hour order block is now touched the 50% uh, mark of the daily wick. So it's reached very sensitive price levels. We can believe that it's going to push away from. We have the bearish order block form breaks below it. And then the retracement, I put a fib on here from the current range. Retraces into the order block and just about to the 70.5, you know, goes right above the 61.8. So right there is just textbook confirmations to get into a trade right around there. Let's say. Um, you got in right around the 61.8, which was about there. Your stop above there. And just for this first significant lower low, that's over for R&R, four, four and a half for an easy first take parcels for the next significant low. You're looking at about 5.4 R&R. &R. So a great trade right there just with very simple price action concepts. But let's go into the one hour and see what we find here. So here we are on the one hour. Now, I want to point out this is where certain confirmations you just have to not be so extremely picky. So just from the daily and the four hour alone, we've found a good setup, a good trade to get into. Granted, the stop loss was a little bit higher than I would care for typically, but it still worked out for a great trade. So here on the one hour, And I wanted to first show, actually, this does not have a bearish pattern inside of it. So we obviously believe that this high is going to hold, but, and that's because we have the four hour and the daily telling us, don't be so, you know, extremely picky that you now need a third time frame to have a bearish pattern inside of here. That's not going to happen very often. And so we already have our confirmations from this line, the four hour, and this line, the daily wick, the halfway wick. So once we see price reach these two levels, we, we don't have to be so extremely picky that we are going to expect it to hit here. It certainly can. But we've already had the break of structure on the four hour off of the, the bearish order block and the fib retracement off of that level. So just going into a lower time frame here on the one hour as price catches up to it. Um, you know, get into the trade and don't, you know, you're going to miss out if you're not looking for the confirmations to happen already. It's not about a specific price point. It's about price reaching into liquidity and areas we can expect it to react from. And then the price action concepts like the break of structures. For instance, remember this 
was our four hour fib retracement. This range goes back up into it. So let's say you didn't get in on that. Maybe you wanted just a little bit more confirmation or you, maybe you were expecting it to go up a little bit more, even though it's already met some criteria to get in short here. We have another bearish order block. We got the engulfing bearish pattern. Yes, right as we do have a bullish Harami pattern. However, we're not giving much priority to that because we are bearish. We, we have the daily and the four hour telling us to be bearish right now. And then finally, before it drops all the way, this is the main, the last point I wanted to get to, the last entry point you could have had. Bearish order block. It does retrace a little bit high above the 70.5, but inside of the retracement, we have a bearish squeeze alert. So similar to here, even though we didn't quite get the break of structure here, you know, it only wicked below here until after this. This, we get the strong break of structure, breaks below these lows, bearish order block. Inside of the retracement, we have the bearish pattern. So, that would have been your last chance to get in. But of course, if you do that, you could have your stop above there, a much tighter stop than we had over here. And of course, we just see it falls quickly. A couple other, you know, chances to get in. It does come back up to this bearish order block. but price is very heavy after that. So this was just a quick example, just with this one pair, the US dollar, Canadian dollar, of finding this short and you know very simple confirmations to get into. Again, starting on the daily time frame, believing this high is going to hold and the divergence. We don't necessarily need divergence on all the time frames. This is just a great confirmation to, to tell us which highs or which lows are going to be strong and hold price, you know, to the downside or the upside. Of course, it, you know, finally takes us out there, but not before taking out this low, this low, this low, and even this low here. So multiple, you know, take profit levels where price went to and it did it very quickly as well. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful and until next time, best of luck trading.